when you wake up and want to go on the back porch. I don't know if I'm glad to be in the snow removal business or not, but we haven't got a whole lot of sleep the last week or so, that's for sure. And it's not letting up, people. It's it's not gonna let up anytime soon. A little perspective for you. I'm opening up this parking lot right here so that they get out. If they even want to get out, I don't even think anybody wants to get out. But, I mean, we're talking like four or five foot high wall on either side, just cutting down through here. This is going to be full on chaos later on today when everybody wants to try to get out. Just complete, complete chaos is what we're looking at. I got no more room for snow. I'm running out of storage. I don't know what we're going to do for storage. We've got to truck some snow, but we don't even have the ability to do that. It's kicked up. So it's blowing it everywhere. Good times. desperately looking for 
motor operators right now. Um, one of my guys is sick. He's actually got sick last night. And so I left him in bed this morning. I'm gonna get the uh, that fuel filter and those parts put on that 950. Uh, gonna have to let the sun come up a little bit. It's gonna be a real pain to mess with that thing right now in the dark. So, you know, we don't really have a on staff mechanic. It's just us. So we're gonna get over there. It's actually a rental. They should have came up and did it themselves, but. Uh, like I said, my buddy, he's the one that owns the tractor, so I told him to get me the parts up here, and I'll put them on, and hopefully that's the issue with that fuel rail on that tractor. We'll see. But For now, we're just going to get, uh, we're going to go over to the office real quick, get the hand guys uh, situated with their routes. Mike's going to be over starting out with those trucks by himself. Shouldn't be too bad. I think he can get them loaded fairly quick. So uh, probably after I get everything kind of smoothed out and if I can get that 950 going, I'll just get in there and be running that myself today. And we'll see how that goes. Here's some trucks coming in. So it looks like everybody's running. I know, I think they, uh, the message that I saw was they started running at 1 a.m. So they're they gonna keep running here and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not really sure why, why this guy's got the road closed here. Um, it's actually, this is the direction that we're supposed to be running our trucks from. So I'm gonna have to find out why why he's got it closed. Early morning. Almost four o'clock in the morning. Looks like they're clearing sidewalks this morning. So they've got, uh, they got this, this part of the road shut down. They're clearing up these sidewalks. Getting things widened out, looking pretty good. Wow. A lot of activity going on. A lot of activity. Everybody's moving. That's a good thing. Oh, we got a busy day ahead of us as well. We're gonna we're gonna lay our cards down and hope for the best. See if we can get a bunch of trucks out today. That's what we're trying to do, get that get that one account finished and move on to the next one. It's right down the street, so we'll get on that one and start getting him and then uh, just keep it moving. All right, it's pretty quiet in here. We're gonna get this uh, kind of opened up so we can start running trucks. We got pretty far yesterday. Almost got to the stairs. Just got that to go and then a big big pile over here. Got Mike coming up with the loader right now. Boy that light that thing's a little bright. That's what it that's what it had on it when I bought it. Morning guys. Morning, Top of the morning to you. Top of the morning to you. So I think we're gonna load from just down there. You guys will All just right, come okay. down and we'll just load out it, pull right. right in front of that entry and we'll load from down there for now. This is gonna be way too tough. Yeah. <clears throat> and then uh the, there's gonna be an alternate route because they have that road closed. Mm -hmm. So you gotta go 
you got to go up to Meridian, make a left, and then make a right on Minaret. Right. So and you, it, it's just it's pretty simple. But uh, let's just redirect the trucks, and we're going to load everything down there at that entryway. Gotcha. So uh, he's going to be ready. So just have him have him start staging right right over there. He's going to turn around, and then he'll be ready to load. All right, boys. Let's have a good. Let's have a good morning. All right, those are for our new hand crew. Just got here to the office a little bit after four. Got Mike going with the trucks. So we're gonna go check on him shortly. Here is our propane tank route. So those guys are gonna be here. Gonna go through that with them, get them going, and then keep going with my paperwork, try to get some billing out. Gotta keep everything flowing. <laughs> got a lot going out and got to keep it coming back in. So I don't really have a choice. I'm going to have to sit down and do some paperwork here this morning. So we got the trucks lined up, loading them out through this entryway here. How we doing? Are you ready? Hopefully we get a better day today, huh? I think we will. We'll get a rhythm going here quick. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Mike's loading them. Start getting them moved over to the pit. Got the beds all sprayed out. Make sure everybody's gates are working properly. And I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's just see how it goes. That's, our, that's Brian, our spray guy. Spraying out the beds. darn cold out but everybody's out of the parking lot on time finally well we're running a little bit behind it's just tough to get everything moving in a timely manner when it's like this this weather's just it's cold it's brutal um, but we're doing our best and we're gonna try to get a lot of loads out today All right, it's sun's gonna start coming out here pretty quick. We've been loading. There's Mike, he's got himself a big bite. Load these trucks out. We're not stacking up too bad. Keeping them going. How's it stick? Is it staying about three trucks, three, four trucks? Okay. So nobody's waiting around too long? No. Good. Right now I'm just waiting on Ed as well for the any piece. Yeah. Just waiting on him for that. And the All right, so and Brian here. He's, uh, he's just started working with us recently, but uh, he's he's in charge of spraying the antifreeze in these trucks, the RV antifreeze that's approved by the town. So uh, he hits these trucks about every other load just to make sure the snow doesn't stick. And I've had comments about the antifreeze. It's actually safe to drink. It's, you know, you, it's actually the stuff that you put in your RV, in your supply lines of your RV to keep the, RV from freezing so anyhow it looks like things are going pretty smooth and uneventful this morning which makes me very happy got BT trucking they've been doing a great job with the brokering out here you got me the trucks I needed and we're uh, we're taking care of our guys over at Crystal Villa sun's getting ready to come up Looks like it's just behind the horizon there. I'm hoping uh, I can get a shot of that here shortly. 
gonna go back up on top and see if we can't get a good vantage point to see all of the trucks going in and out of the pit probably won't be able to actually go out to the pit uh, and film but I would like to but um, I'll find out if they'll let me I'm gonna ask We are back up on top. It's uh, just before sunrise here. So that's the snow pit and it's in operation now. Um, I don't think I'll be able to get a vantage point um, from the actual pit. It looks like it's not too busy right at this, right, right at this moment, but I've heard that we've had up to a thousand trucks a day uh, come through this pit. So it's, as you can see, the, that platform there just keeps getting larger and larger. It just keeps pushing out into that, into that, um, that flat there. Over this way, this is down towards Crowley Lake. So it's just really beautiful. Very quiet this morning, no wind, it's really cold can't wait for that sun to come out but you can kind of see what's going on here um, over there that's that's old mammoth road so that's basically where you come in uh, there's a dirt road you kind of follow this down and then it leads you into this pit area where you'll turn around and back up to the edge and dump it off and then they, they have a dozer out there and they'll just keep working it and working it um and and this this i'll probably come film this in a week or so and we'll see how much bigger it got um because i'm certain it's going to get a lot bigger all right guys i am in the office working on a little paperwork here the a hand crew just showed up so i just gave them directions you guys got the directions up to sure stay so yeah Follow that, head up to meet Ed. Ed's gonna be up there. He'll show you guys where we're gonna work at. Okay. All right. I'm going. Good luck today. I hope you guys have a good day out there. We're gonna Thank we're you. gonna get some propane tanks uncovered. We're gonna get some roofs cleared. Uh we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on and a whole bunch of guys and uh just gonna get get some stuff done up here. So head on up there and we'll see you guys up there, okay? All right, so we got Ann and Jen. Um, they are actually up here doing a story about all the snow craziness that we're dealing with up here. And then we've got my right-hand man, Ed, over here. He's talking with Clayton. Clayton. Clayton, I'm Ben. Nice to meet you, Ben. And uh, say hi to all our YouTube fans. How's it going, YouTube? So this is Plow Brothers. We're uh, we're up here helping Clayton with the roof on this on this uh, big A-frame up here. We need all the help we can get. Yeah. So he's explaining to Ed basically what's uh, what to do and uh we're gonna get these guys going and see if we can't uh maybe get a couple shots of them doing some work and uh and then we'll get on back down the hill so i hope you guys enjoy it wow. so as you can see these walls are well over 15 feet high and uh just kind of cut a cut they cut a path back here with the blower it looks like um get around the side of the building here and hopefully we'll be able to get over here we can see these guys up on the roof and see what they're up to getting that thing cleared and we'll go from there i was here removing it every day and it was crazy but yeah look at this look at this roof something else so i think the guys will be getting back up that way somewhere we might be able to see them we might not but you can you get an idea of of the the amount of snow so as you can see we've got a uh a uh, little a device that they've come up with to get up onto the roof and then there's a uh, <clears throat> there's a safety tie off once you get up on top they'll harness up to that and uh 
on the back side is where we were just at. So that's where kind of where the bulk of the snow is. So as you can see, everybody's out enjoying their day. Got the snow cats rolling up there. It's just a beautiful day out here, folks. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than this. This weather is just so prime. Unfortunately, we're working today, so we're gonna be doing roof removal still, but um, hopefully one of these days we'll get caught up and we'll get to get out there. So these guys are getting it done up on the roof, that's for sure. And uh, there's a lot to clear right there. Huge ice dams. I mean, these things are just so huge. But uh, these guys are moving. They're all harnessed up. And we're going to start working this valley out, get this whole valley cleared out, get it all down. We might come up here and bucket. I'm not sure. Whatever they need, we're going to try and help them with. Need to get that uh, red truck and trailer and go get the Mini X and get it back over to Sherwin. Did it stop? Leave it on the trailer. Sadie, what do you got there? Come on. So this is 33 Kelly. Got all the ice dams broke. Got all the snow off the roof. All the ice dams are broken on this side as well. The top roof is already shed, except for that little piece up at the top, but that'll fall itself. So. It's a metal roof. <clears throat> All done. Russian. 
They love peanuts. Here. Mm, you missed that one. They both missed. All right. So we got Sadie. Get out of the street. Come on. Does that work? Yeah. They don't bend? No, it's have solid. Have you tried them? Solid steel. Oh. <coughs> Might have Mike tack a little beat around it to hold it in place. Yeah. Yeah, it's like impossible. There's Alex out. He left his gloves at ACL. He's going to grab them. Um, okay. I'm going to throw these back on and I'll go do those. So somebody said you were putting on chains backwards yesterday. I got these here are supposed to face to the outside. Yeah. Not not go up against the tire. Yeah. They sit on the tire just like that. That goes over the top of the tire, right? Yeah. The tire sits up underneath this so that these yeah. are Yeah. Those face to the outside. Yeah. yeah. So you can see Clouds are coming in. Storm kept kind of pushing back, so we just kept an eye on it. We got about two or three inches last night, so it wasn't, it wasn't what we were thinking. But it's definitely still coming, and it shows, Friday shows a really big day, and uh, uh, starting this afternoon, it's probably gonna start coming in a little heavier, and we'll end up having to go out and uh, make our rounds. So it's a little miserable and windy out <clears throat> and we've had that broken door on the on the loader for a while. I ordered the glass a long time ago, <clears throat> but um, we decided to set up shop here in the living room and we're putting this glass in. So Mike's just getting my frame all cleaned up. And then we've got some of this stuff here. So, window weld. <clears throat> so it's a fast setting urethane product and now we got this pretty new piece of glass that we're going to put in so now we'll have a nice solid driver's side door on the tractor for the first time since we've owned it so when i bought that it came with uh plexiglass somebody obviously had broken that All right, so getting the glue down, we're going to put her in, be ready to go. As you can see, folks, that weather is starting to come in and now our, all this work we've done over here at the yard is uh, going to be redoing it. So we got Clark over here with Old Faithful. Good. But uh, he's gonna get this trailer. We got a he lost a tran transmission on his truck, so we're gonna loan him the truck and trailer so we can get to get his truck down to Bishop. Yeah, I just <clears throat> shut the tailgate. Um, yeah, okay. Where are so, these hook on to? She's coming in.
we're gonna go help Clark. He blew, he lost a tranny. So we loaned him the trailer. We're gonna help him get uh, get his truck on the trailer. It's gonna be fun, because it's starting to get cold. Okay, so it's starting to dust a little bit. And uh, we got our buddy Clark here, Old Faithful. If you're looking for rentals up here or property management, give my boy a call. He'll take care of you. He's, he's helped us out a lot ever since we've been up here. So we're gonna help him out right now. We're gonna get his truck up on the trailer. And uh, he's gonna head down to Bishop with this truck and trailer. All right, so we got the winch hooked up. Gonna get, uh, is that controller in the box there? Oh, I didn't even know it had that. I didn't know this truck had that. In the side. Yeah. No, I've always plugged it in the back too. <laughs> Mike knows more about my truck than I do. Okay, so we got the winch. <sighs> we don't have gloves. Always something on the worst possible time. So we're getting her up on the trailer. We'll get Clark down to Bishop. to the next project all right well we about got the glass install complete <laughs> funny thing is i think the or we both think that this handle doesn't actually even go to this machine because now that it's glass it's not really wanting to line up but we're gonna mess with it and see if we can't figure it out. Okay, so starting to come down a bit. We're gonna be going out probably, uh, I don't know. Talked to Carson earlier, he was saying three o'clock for them. So we'll probably go around sometime around two or three a.m. because it's gonna be doing this Kind of steadily for the rest of the evening but the cool thing is there's the door so we got the brand new door or glass we used the old frame and then put the new glass in there glued it all in and really works nicely we're super pumped to have a regular door on this machine finally because it had plexiglass on it ever since we got it so it's kind of cool what are you doing Sadie what are you chewing on huh what what <coughs> huh what what hey. so old Betsy's ready to go for tonight everything's greased up Checked all the pins, tires. We got air in the tires. I mean, this is kind of, it's kind of nice. So fingers crossed, it's gonna be a big storm. Fingers crossed that we have no major incidents and we are able to get through this storm without too much trouble. Out here in Parlier, California, getting ready to start a new metal building for the United States Department of Agriculture this morning. Got all our equipment on site. Just waiting for the truck to show up with the metal building so we can start unloading it.
All right, 10.15, here we go. Borga truck rolling up. So, 1.30, second truck just showed up with all our iron on it. Look at the paint running down. They just painted these things right there. Look, paint's still wet. Look, the paint is still literally wet. So, just got them out here, 1.30. All right, guys, so <laughs> we are at our favorite spot. There's Owen over there. He's not too happy right now. <laughs> Do an interview? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to. Let's talk about let's talk about your problems. Uh, let's talk about yours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Owen had to do a job that was kind of tough. All right. Well, looks like it's starting to stick just a little. Yeah, I would say a good four or five inches last night of just real dry powder so it's about almost 4 a.m we're getting ready to go out i'm gonna get everything fired up well looks like we're back to some of these scenes here oh bud bud's happy he loves the powder guys I'm gonna get things fired up and get ready to go all right so Betty Crocker made us brownies and burritos you can see it's the winds blowing pretty good out there and shine okay guys so we just finished up our coffee and bud's gonna take a little rest before we head out this morning and the guys are out it's about just a little after four o'clock and um owen's out in a blower ed's out in a blower mike's in the loader we've got um some hand guys over at the post office. They'll be going over to shelter distilling after that. So I'm gonna get dressed and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna head out and kind of check on everybody and see how everybody's doing. And uh, show you guys a little bit of uh, what's going on this morning. So stay tuned for that. That'll be on the next video. Hope you enjoyed the, uh, the last day or two that we had up here. Um, we kind of wait for that storm to come in, but it didn't come in as quickly as we thought it was it kept you know showing that it was coming and then the wind was just pushing it through like i think it was just pushing it right on through but it looks like things are starting to stack up and uh definitely we're in for some weather tomorrow and and today it's gonna it's pretty steady all day today and really heavy tomorrow so that'll be pretty interesting and then it looks like a pretty heavy couple of days next week, early, uh, Monday and Tuesday. So stick around. Things are going to get pretty interesting over the next few days. Looks like old Bud and Sadie are plum tuckered out. They definitely had a hard couple of days of running around in the snow. So they need their doggy rest getting get ready to do some more running around
Well, they're not really even able to keep up with the roads too good. But uh, it's just been steady coming down. Hasn't stopped. It's just been like this since we woke up. A little heavier at times. And then sometimes a little lighter, but anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half an hour steady through tomorrow. Yeah, that's a full-time job just keeping these vehicles, trying to keep them dug out. We got the flatbed over here last night. We had it cleaned off. So that'll show you right there how much snow we actually got since last night. That's that's definitely well over two feet. I mean, easily, easily 30 inches and it's still just coming down. This has all been cleared since, you know, multiple times. So as you can see, it's, it's full white out and everything, street, all of it. So, you know, they're gonna run down and play with that dog. Come on, let's go. Well, as you can see, he's probably got close to four foot or more on top. And our sleds, the two little bumps, they've slowly disappeared. So unfortunately, we'll have to be digging those out again. Let me see your face. You got snow on your face. So it's pretty deep, like up past my knees, right through there. But uh, Mammoth PD just issued a, um, basically a stay at home. You know, they're asking everybody just to stay at home because they can't get around either till Wednesday morning. So we got another at least another foot coming tomorrow and then whatever we still get for tonight uh coming down here to see zach got stuck in his driveway so we're gonna tuck him out with the uh, skid steer real quick Zach got stuck in the driveway. <laughs> Gonna see if we can jerk him out real quick. Get a little tug with the chain and see if he comes out. Back up a little. Mike. Back up just a back up a little. Right there. That's good. got one the same way or is that got a big hook on it okay all right pull it tight go ahead and pull it tight 
Come here, Sadie. Ciao. Okay, she could got him right out pretty easily. Oh, 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 oh. That'll work. Come on, Sadie. Sadie, come on. All right, I think we got him out. Gonna get up. Hmm. Sadie, you gonna get up? Come on. See how bad it is out here. Oh yeah. And it blew one right in there on the wall last night. It's pretty deep. The wind's been blowing it around a lot. You can see that much. Sadie. Sadie, what do you got? Hmm? What do you got? things <clears throat> shut down pretty good it looks like they did get the road pushed out you have to do some digging out to get the car out but uh got everything warming up the wind is just really blowing blowing it all around it's gonna be fun today i'll tell you all right well Another cold start video. This thing's been sitting for a minute.
Okay, so it's four o'clock in the morning. This blower's messing up. I don't know what's going on here, but the chute's not working again. We had the same problem. I think it was on that machine. So now we switched it. Let's see if we can uh, get this thing going here. I have again, I'm thinking this is the same machine. No left can't turn left or go up with the chute it wants to it'll still try and go right and it still tries to go down but uh so it's stuck all the way down and it's turned all the way to the right wow the sun popped out still a little windy but uh it feels nice to have that sun even if it's only going to be for a short time uh the forecast is showing it's it's heading this way actually you can kind of see it in the mountains there so uh it's gonna start dumping again here shortly it's coming you can see it coming over the top So Mike's bucketing up, Mike, Bakersfield Mike. And then we got Mike Zen, project manager over here. He's running the blade. And we're just pushing all the snow anywhere we can push it right now because we're, we're losing space fast. Okay. So got to get out of the garage here and of course it's been a while since we've had a failure so on the john deere we had a hydraulic line break so mike and i are going to pull that off right now see if we can't get napa to make us a new one so we've got so much ice build up that's what happens when you don't clean the ice out kids <laughs> can't even get the damn hose off because there's so much ice built up in there and he's got the axe in there right now they got the other side loose have to get a trash bag put it put that hose in a trash bag i think Got it? Yep. So it looked like something got murdered here. Hydraulic fluid everywhere, but we'll get that cleaned up and we'll get this hose replaced and get it back on the, <laughs> back on the, on the trail. All right. Drag here. Some stuff are in there. We're gonna head down to Napa and see if they can save us. Looks like about said anywhere from 16 to 20 coming in tonight or this afternoon, I should say. Oh, I gotta shut the garage, huh? <clears throat> I'll do it. Yeah, get up. Well, the dogs are happy. Just getting a little break. Sun kind of popped out. Pretty nice. City and Bud are gonna play for a minute and we're gonna see if we can get some over to Napa. Hopefully they'll be able to make us a hose. Shouldn't take too long. And we'll get this thing back up and running. So as usual, when it rains, it pours. Uh, we noticed these these resistors here or whatever they're called they're like little solenoids but um it was all bent so i don't know if he damaged it last night but that one right there and i've seen these go out on my uh on the excavator so i'm kind of wondering if it could be one of these two things 
Uh, they got some ice dams starting on there. Now we're back at our favorite spot, warming hut. I'm gonna have a little lunch, wait for that hose to get fixed and get back out there. Okay. All right. So, well, let's see, here's the new hose. Which end is the... I think it was. So Joe here is going to fix up our hydraulic hose for us. That smells good. <laughs> there we go, good as new. Now we got a spare. And we're all set. Thanks a bunch. These two. I'm gonna try to unplug these on this one. Are they all bent up like the other one? No. no. I mean these are these are bent up a little bit. Yeah, they're for, they were they were down like that. That's how they were. See if we can unplug those. How's your day going? Uh, looks like the weather's coming in. We're gonna try to establish the problem with this blower right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna swap these these uh, relays out, these two relays. So I'm gonna go fire this one up. Let's see if we can swap these relays out and make this thing work again. And then we know that that's the problem. So we're gonna find out right now. Okay, so Mike just swapped those out. So we're gonna turn on that. Turn the blower on. Automatic. Nope, it's definitely not that. not that okay that's not a good thing well we were hoping it was that <laughs> huh. so this thing's got us kind of baffled well the only other thing we can do now is let, let's switch them over real quick just to make sure let's put this blower on that machine okay all right Looks like it's starting to come down a little bit. We're dumping this roof right now. So I got my guys up here. We're gonna push all this off right here. And then we gotta get a bucket over here as quick as possible. And we'll start bucketing this snow over to our storage area. But, uh, And now we gotta get that out of here too. That's a massive amount that we gotta bucket that too. Try to keep things moving. Checking on our guys at Cinnamon Bear. Looks like they're doing okay. We'll be back when we get a little snow on the ground. Start helping them out, get her cleared out. Got our bucket guy going over here. We're gonna check him out and see what he's doing real quick. 
that's pulling here. This is the one we were looking at yesterday. It was like a tunnel back there. It still kind of is. But looks like he's working his way back. Let's go see what he's got going on. Mammoth Mountain, baby. So that bucket's pretty wide, as you can see. It's probably about a foot wider than the machine on either side, which is kind of cool. He's just scooping it out. Scooping her out one by one. So he's working his way to the back here. Hopefully he doesn't tear, tear anything up. All our profit will be gone if he tears something up. It looks like he already got the downside, so that's good. Yeah, he got that all opened up. Nice. Still got to get all the way back to here. But as you can see, folks, this is just pure insanity. This is just people trying to get into their houses. So normally, in the summertime, this is like a big open walkway. But uh, it's like a tunnel now. It looks a lot bigger than it did yesterday, that's for sure. Scoop it up, boys. <laughs> Scooping her up. It's supposed to get 12 inches in the next 24 hours, so we gotta clear as much space as we can. That's all we can do. Alright guys, here it comes. Wind's starting to kick up a bit. It's not really doing too much just yet, but looks like we're definitely going to get that 12 inches in the next 24 hours like they said. It's starting to set in a bit. We got the roof guys up here. We're dropping this roof for Get Outdoors 365. If you come to Mammoth, if you come to Mammoth and you're going to do any rentals, do it at Get Outdoors 365. So I got my loader guy over here. He's gonna start bucketing for me. He's gonna run it up to our storage area, up the way. Keep dumping it. So yeah, we're, we got these guys up here trying to drop this roof. Yeah? I want to try to get that on video. That'd be cool. Yeah, and then, so, basically we've got. Yeah, I'm gonna stay out of the way. Yeah, that'd be cool. I want to see that one. I want to see that one hit. Got these roofs, getting them down. Got our ramp. This is a tennis court right here. So we ramp out over on top of the tennis courts and just keep pushing off to the right. So as you can see, clearing one of these roofs or multiple, which we have multiple here, is no small task. It takes a lot of manpower just to get this snow down. And you can see this is some of the stuff that's already come down, kind of blocking the garage. We'll have to bucket all this, but it's a lot of work. All right, so I backed into a snow bank <laughs> and we stuffed the pipe full of snow. Truck's still running, I don't know how. It's like fully on plugged. You can't feel any air coming out of there? No. Oh my god. Here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I think I got it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I feel the exhaust. Yeah, there we go. I, I stuffed into that right there. <laughs> so. Alright, so this property here... We've got to cut all the way back to the back right there. So and we're going to throw the snow to the right. So it's going to be fun. 
So as you can see, we got a few garages here that can't really get to. So we're gonna try and come over here. This is actually somebody's roof that's never been cleared, which is like deadly, but we're gonna try to get over here with the blower and just take our time. And I think we'll clean it, clean it back as far as we can, get it as square as we can. It's all we can do. Try to stay off of this right here and leave it. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Um, Cause this is gonna create a lot more work if it does. Uh, <clears throat> how wide do you wanna go just one, one deal through here? I'd like to go two if we could. And then... Okay folks. It's starting to come down a bit. We got this windshield wiper arm put on this machine. We're gonna send him out and we're gonna do a little blowing. I'll show you guys a little bit of that here in a minute. And uh, let's get it going. So we have not stopped moving all day. As you can see, this 12 inches and the next 24 is starting to come at us, starting to get hit with it. So right now we're still in cleanup mode. We don't really have any fresh snow to move. We're still cleaning up from the last storm. So I just sent my new recruit, who's actually a really good friend of mine and the guy you saw earlier doing all the welding. He's a badass fabricator, welder, and pretty much a lifelong friend that they're actually not doing a whole lot of work in Southern California right now because everything's flooded. So I got an opportunity to get him up here and I said, get your ass up here, bro. So I threw him in a blower and we're gonna see what happens. I'm actually, this is his first time ever running a blower, but he's pretty smart and he picks up on stuff pretty quick. So I'm not really too worried about it. We're pulling up to the job right now. We're gonna see, uh, there he is right there. So we're gonna check this out and see how he does on his first blower ever. First blower run, I should say. All right, so this roof, this guy totally should have had this roof cleared. It's totally gonna be a problem. We're getting four more feet on top of this. Gonna be a huge problem for him. But uh, <clears throat> we're gonna go check my guy, my recruit. He's running this blower for his first time ever. Um, I've kind of trained him on the basics and I turned him loose. So here he goes. And if there's one job to learn on, this would be the one because this is just a hell of a, it's a hell of a mess over here. We're gonna push all this back here. All that stuff back there. We gotta push it back so we can get to these garages. So I'm gonna let him push through and see how he does. Alright. Well, this is a hell of a mess. We're gonna try to push that all the way back. See how he does. It's his first time ever running it, so I don't expect him to be perfect, but we're just trying to work out the bugs. Let's see what it does right here. I mean, this thing's like 10 foot high easily. We're just going to try to slowly cut it, and then we raise up. Now he's raising it up. He's just gonna cut that whole face of that all the way up. Nice and slow. Don't try to rush. And that's pretty much what you gotta do. You just gotta inch your way, inch your way back when you're dealing with this depth. Now look at this roof over here though. This is the roof that I was parked in just a minute ago. This is insanity right here. All right, it was dark when we started and we ain't stopped yet, it's dark again. But I got my new guy, 
got him training on this little area here, which is complete. Super deep, super, super deep. It's like being in a tunnel right here. He's doing pretty good. He's getting it up there. He's got it all the way back. I'm really surprised he got it this far back. First time ever in the glory. He did a great job. So I'm super pumped about that. It's starting to really come down. Looks like we're definitely going to get that 12, that 12 inches in 24 hours like they're talking about. But more so, it's actually going to be up to 48 inches in the next 36 hours. So um, we're at it again. It's a non, non-stop, never-ending white gold winter. And I'm not gonna complain one bit because we needed it really bad. That's the business we're in. We signed up for it and we got it. So I hope you guys enjoy all this content that we're trying to put out. It's really fun to be able to put this out and get people to, to see what we do. It's, uh, it's very rewarding. Um, so please like and share the videos and help us get to more subscribers and keep getting this content out. Well, it's coming. Coming down, we're gonna go check on one more job. Got some customers coming up from out of town. Make sure their driveway is clear. And we're gonna call it a night probably. We gotta get this loader tire on. It's on its way back from Bishop. So I'll probably be able to show you a little bit of that here in a minute. We'll be putting that on in the middle of the storm. But uh, after that, we're gonna call it a night and go back out at like three in the morning. Looks like a lot of a lot of visitors are gonna be up this weekend. It's gonna be a crazy holiday weekend. So, got a big storm, a lot of people. Usually creates a lot of chaos. So not necessarily looking forward to that, but that's just uh, the way it is. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on things and hopefully everybody stays safe and everything goes good and we get through to next week. That's what we're trying to do. All right, so yesterday we dropped the roof on this house and pretty much <laughs> the, both the bunkhouse and the main house pretty much look like they're completely buried in snow. But now we're gonna go back here and see if we can uh, get this truck out. What do you think? We gonna get the truck out? I think so. We should get this on video. Oh yeah. Look at this truck. I think it's got a little bit of snow on the roof. A little four low, it'll just a touch. Just a touch of four. It's like squat oh my god, it's like squashing the freaking <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, you got some weight on there, bud. Alright, yeah, we gotta get this thing cleared. Um Almost got it, huh? I said you almost got it. Oh no, I, that, I just it went in one time, that was it. Yeah. Um, and then let's let's go over here and go as far back as we can too on the other side of the bunkhouse. Yeah. So you want how far over the whole That's thing? fine. Uh, just for him to get the truck out right now and then I'll come in with the loader and I'll I'll do it with the loader. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I think Alex will be back with that tire by then. We'll try to get that on and call probably call it night after that. <laughs> what a day. Oh, you got some. Oh, that's that's what happens all the time. You get little treats. Like everywhere you stop, you'll get little treats. <laughs> yeah, they they want to feed you, so you'll come back to their place. Mike went down to Bishop, and we actually were able to find a belt. Not the right belt. It's gonna work. 
we bypassed the air compressor or the air conditioning on it because that was locked up so we don't really need air conditioning up here so i may not ever put that back on but all i know is i got my loader up and running we're going to take them to our job and start pushing some snow loader pulling up these guys we got them all opened up this morning cut around all the car that looks pretty good Owen did that so he did a good job a lot of neighborhoods look just like this you know that it's just like a tunnel coming down through here so we got tunnels everywhere that we're building i just saw owen right here i thought he was still here did i miss him oh he's right there okay over here uh can you come over here real quick huh? i want to show you this over here and then we got to get over to crystal villa as quick as possible there's like everybody's stuck over there yeah i, I forgot to do 31 evergreen so we'll go run back up there real quick nice too. hat bro yeah i know right you want to talk about a roof actually she told me she wanted us to come over here and clear this roof um next week but if if we can yeah read your text man so here what you're gonna do in here you get in here you literally come in and you're just gonna go up and down and an inch forward up and down Where am I gonna an shoot inch it forward off? huh Where am i gonna shoot it off that way and then back over there in that corner so you can throw it up here as much as you can and then once you get a little further down, you're gonna go over that way with it. And you can go all the way to that building. You can be two feet from that building. So they can't even get in their apartment. I mean, this is their, got stuck, huh? Yeah, I think they put this berm up to keep people from going back here. Well, I tried to help them, but they didn't seem too talkative, so. This guy right here, Owen Atwood, master operator. Got himself in a pickle, it looks like. So, of course, he's got to call dad to the rescue. I don't know if I'll be able to drag you out. I'll try. Get out. Get over here and hook me up right here. All right. Well, let me see how close I can get. So he's kind of angled in here like that, which is kind of going to be a trick to get him out. So I put the shackle over there on that corner. And then what I'm going to try to do, it's not really a bouncy setup, but I'm just going to try to bounce on him a little bit. Hopefully not snap that strap and uh, see if we can get him to move. Machine, and I'm going to raise up, raise up your uh, like four feet. I want it up high because you you got a lot of snow right here. You'll feel me. You'll feel it. All right, so we're... Like literally just enough room to get the Jeep in here. I'm hoping it'll pull him out. We'll see what happens. Ugh. He's got that up. Boy, that, that wall collapsed. Really buried him in there. See if, see if I can do this without snapping this rope. Again. One more time. Well, we're definitely getting them straightened out, so just keep doing it. Oh, broke the rope. So I went home and I got the, the bouncy rope and I think I can give him a, a lot harder pull with that. Somebody needs to call Heavy D, Sparks, or Matt's recovery for me and see if they'll come up to Mammoth and help me do some recoveries. <clears throat> but until we get some help from them, we're going to see if we can get him out on our own. All right, I'm gonna get it tight and then I'm gonna come forward and give it a real good, a real healthy pull, so. Got traffic to deal with also, so. Here we go. 
Oh, almost. Okay. I think we're gonna get it. Okay, we're gonna give her a good one this time. We'll either pull the front bumper off or get out. Oh, baby! Got her! All right, we just arrived at Cinnamon Bear Inn. Well, Mike, he's turning out to be quite the hand in the loader. So I, he's got me stuck over here in the skidster now. I'm not, I'm off loader, loader duty. I got Mike up here running the loader. So I'm gonna help him out with this parking lot. Try to backtrack some of this stuff out for him. I'm just gonna bucket it out for him. Start throwing it to him. See if we can work as a team over here. cinnamon bear we're pushing this place in I'm I'm feeding it he's running it down the chute it's working out pretty good right now just got to keep pushing that snow down through there that's our storage area where he's at right there just all the way to the back back there kind of see where he's piling it way back there yeah. Just another day in paradise. Getting stuff done. I'm gonna go over here and finish out this over here. Get that over to him. Shuttle it over to him so he can run it down the chute. All right, boys and girls. Got this one all kind of polished out. Got a little bit left to do, but she's looking pretty good. Quite a bit of snow in here. And uh, now I got Mike over here running the chute. Pushed a whole bunch over here. We cleared this whole thing too. It was all about 10 or 10, 15 foot high. This loader does work. Straight does work. Mike's pretty much uh, second day operating the loader. He's really picked it up. He's doing great. Hell, I might not even want to get back in that thing after this. But, uh, we're looking pretty good over here. We're gonna cut this up a little more square. And after that, we're gonna get on to the next one. All right, so I'm in the parking lot. Uh, well, I'm in the parking garage, I should say, of quality here. And uh, I mean, this entryway was just so jacked up. So we're I'm having him back drag it out. See if we can back drag it out and uh, at least get it to where people can get in and out. I'll try to widen it out a bit too. Well, we called about 30 minutes ago and let everybody know. Everybody cleared the whole parking lot. Except for this one person. And now, boy, she's taking her sweet time. I mean, we have about a million places to be right now and no extra time to waste on sitting around at jobs. <laughs> oh, people, please, you gotta understand. You know, when, when we call ahead and tell everybody to get their cars out, that means we say we're gonna be there at 3.30, we're gonna be there at 3.30. So you gotta have your car out because guess what? We have 80 other, 80 other places we gotta be right now and I don't know if she's stuck or what but maybe Michael see if he'll push a little bit out from in front of her but I haven't seen her wheels even try to move so I don't know what's going on but it sure is uh, costing us a little bit of time right here all right I think we figured out why she can't get it on the breathalyzer is not working and I won't let her drive <laughs> but right on hopefully uh she's not drunk maybe one of us needs to go over there and blow in it for her well we're uh we're still waiting on the on the breathalyzer show it hold it up yeah it's not working so breathalyzer problems <laughs> We're gonna be stuck here for a minute until that thing can get out of our way. Get over here to Tennis Village.
I'm gonna show Mike what we gotta do here. So, we got these lower parking spots here. There's like one, two, three. Usually I'll just bucket these. I'll just, I'll scoop them and I'll, and I'll, I'll get up there where it's, and I'll dump up there. And then starting about right here, I just come in and cut, start pushing up. Basically one bucket wide is fine. And, uh, so you put push up through here, turn, and then this is where it gets a little tricky. Oh, this stuff is heavy. So here's my snow storage that they've screwed up again. So the first thing you'll need to do before you do any of this is come up in here and start working this back. You can go back that way and then you can also go back that way, but we need to create some more room here. <laughs> so don't worry about this. Talk about some of the challenges that we deal with here. This, this little complex is so tight. You can't hardly fit a loader in here. So, uh, and then obviously like we're out of snow storage. Almost the end of the day here, starting to get dark. We're gonna follow Mike on up to Tennis Village. And we're gonna do another one up here. And I think me and old Mike are gonna call it a night. We're probably gonna go ahead and uh, go get something to eat and maybe even have a beer or two so we can get a really good night's sleep because we are gonna be at this again tomorrow at about 4 a.m., possibly earlier, believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe, but we are gonna be at it again. So anyways, I think that's about enough for this video here. Um, it's Sunday, late afternoon. Uh, like I said, it's probably, uh, well, it's close to five o'clock and we're getting a bunch of more weather coming in tonight so it's just gonna be more snow removal come tomorrow and more of the same stuff hopefully we can keep all the equipment running mike's a pretty good hand when it comes to working on stuff welding now he's operating pretty much all around pretty good guy and uh he's one of my best friends so we've been really good friends for a long time I finally got him talked into coming up here and spending a couple weeks with me it's really hard to find good help up here you know um, I've got a really good team of guys um, but I'm always looking for you know more quality guys so anyhow I'm gonna get off of here thank you guys for watching my videos it's so awesome that so many people care about what we're doing up here and they give me all the good comments and it really encourages me to keep doing these videos and I'm definitely going to keep doing more all throughout the summer showing everybody the construction work that we do go over to Plow Brothers at Instagram follow us on there on this video here please please like and share and tell everybody um, the more views the better for us and you know it keeps that motivation going for us to share our life with you guys um, and you get a little chance to experience what we deal with up here uh, no matter where you're at in the country so again thank you to all of you guys for watching and following and just giving me great support so far it's been it's been wild with this channel because I literally started this channel two weeks ago and it just took off like wildfire and I never I knew what we did was interesting, but I just never would imagined that people would enjoy watching it so much. So thank you so much. 
and I look forward to doing a whole bunch more of these videos so you guys can experience what what we get to experience on a daily basis and you know you can you can live vicariously through us you know and that's fine by me so hope everyone has a good weekend and we'll get you another video out tomorrow thanks all right everyone good morning good morning mike morning. it is monday january 16th 2023 guys so this is what kind of the little dusting that we woke up to this morning from last night <laughs> we had this i mean yesterday as you could see the video that we did we had this driveway like completely cleaned and now it's it's got a good eight 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 ten inches on it you know you can see over here on the on the skid steer he came in late last night so that's kind of what was left on there from when he parked that was owen but uh true to form we uh went to fire the old cursed loader up and luckily i've got an extra battery here i was smart enough to have an extra battery on hand couldn't figure out why it wasn't it would like click and last night it clicked a couple times it started but look at this look at this terminal on here i mean that thing got fried it's trying to weld so uh <laughs> a while back we tore the cover off we hit i hit a bollard with the cover on it and peeled the cover off so i don't know having it out in the snow exposed um created a problem or not but so we're gonna swap this battery out real quick and see if that gets us on the road. Back to the usual. Here comes the blade. I think that's the town right there. Yeah, it is. Pushing that. Blower will probably pass through right after. gonna cut the handle off this thing because I bent it so we actually Mike just got the handle off we're gonna get the sledge out and lay it flat get it all straightened back up so we were running without protecting our battery like dumb shits and then that's what happened so Okay, Mike's over here straightening out the battery box housing. Getting all the damn ice out of it that basically built up. <clears throat> Should be up and running here shortly. This is pretty funny. The other day I had a coyote out here. It was, it was crazy. He almost jumped in my lap, but look at this guy. Look at this little guy. You're gonna get you're gonna get munched on, bro. Somebody's gonna eat you. Get up there. Get up there on the snowbank. Come on, go. Get up there. <laughs> look at that sucker. He's fat. I mean he's not he's definitely not uh hurting for food. Alright. Took us about a half hour, but we got the battery box straightened out and reattached. So now our battery is protected. We just didn't have the time. I mean, I hate to say it, we should have stopped and took the time because, you know, these batteries are about, I don't know, they're $400, $600. I don't even remember how much they are, but they're not cheap. And if probably if we would have took the time to stop and fix that battery box sooner instead of instead of just running uh we may not have had that problem but anyhow it cost us uh cost us about an hour or 45 minutes this morning but we're gonna get moving we don't this is not a real heavy dump that we had last night i would say it was maybe you know maybe 10 inches at the most 
which for some people that's probably a lot but for us lately <laughs> that's that's like we're like oh good that's not very much we can get through that luckily it's cold so that keeps everything real light like this they call this stuff sierra cement so what happens over here starting probably here in about a month it starts warming warming up and then um what we have is wet heavy stuff and that wet heavy snow it plugs up everything it's hard to move everything's getting wet and flooded like you know it, it could be uh well it's gonna be i know it's gonna be a real pain when we when that part of the season comes up on us uh, i got alejandro he's over here cleaning out some more parking again after we just cleaned it out yesterday but i'm gonna have him cut me in some parking so we have a place to park get some vehicles parked over here and we're gonna get out and start doing our accounts look at these trees just beautiful just beautiful appreciate you guys following along it's been it's been such a pleasure to do these videos and know that people are getting to see this and experience it through through the lens sleeping beauty in here i think it's almost six o'clock which for us is late <laughs> you know we're getting up about three two or three in the morning depending on what the storms do but let's go check on uh on sleeping beauty here see what he's doing still asleep yeah. did you get my message yeah. i said uh go ahead and sleep in for like an hour and uh get down there and get in that skid stir with the bucket and we'll start uh doing what you can with that okay so get a little rest and let's get out there this morning we're going to get you guys a little uh a little roof removal action we've got um these massive uh amounts of snow on the roof here at 56 davidson they haven't plowed anything in this parking lot i brought the old jeep up we floated right up and this old boy came in right behind me with his little with his his truck his jeep truck gladiator that's a that's a cool looking rig i want to get one of those I might get one of those next and uh, my owen wants this he's gonna buy it uh he's been working hard i've had this jeep for a couple years it's a it's actually like a 2014 it's only got uh 36 000 miles on it i love this thing especially up here when the weather's like this but as you can see we've got some serious roof problems up here that need to be handled so i got the i got the crew coming up <laughs> All right, folks, got the ground crew out. They're starting to dig uh, some of these units out. Roof crew's on the way. So uh, right now we're gonna cut in some of these paths. How we doing? Morning. Cutting in some paths here. So people have somewhat access. You can see it's a tunnel. Making tunnels, huh? You know, a lot of people were saying uh, about the windshield wipers so I'm trying to get a different perspective because it's tough um, I'll, I'll try this We got some hand guys going over here at the post office. We're cutting in the locks. It's a holiday today, but we're gonna go ahead and clean it up anyways. We got Mike over here in the loader. He's running, getting the parking lot straightened up. These guys are gonna do all the steps and locks and things like that. This is just from last night, so definitely quite the uh, quite the amount over here. Morning. How we doing? Good day. Uh, okay, 
you go. More beautiful snow footage. Hope you guys don't get tired of this. Cause I don't think we're gonna stop seeing it anytime soon. From what it looks like, we got a couple more systems coming through before the end of the month, so. Okay, those, those cold starts are pretty fun. But we're gonna do cold start number two here. This thing ain't been on in a couple days. Let's see what it does. Hopefully it's uh, a slow leak, but again, you know, here it is coming down like crazy. We're out here trying to get some air in this thing. But we'll get her done. Okay, gonna make a quick stop at the one and only famous Schatz Bakery. Gotta get our breakfast sandwiches for uh, me and Owen are gonna get a couple sandwiches here. But uh, hey Schatz, if you're watching, I need a sponsorship. I got like 20 guys up here and they're hungry every morning. And it's getting a little expensive. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, shoot. That was definitely not what I wanted to see. I guess we got to get here earlier, right? Five to 10 minutes. Five to 10 minutes? Yeah. Cool. I think we'll stick around and wait for that. This place is pretty neat. Got all kinds of cool stuff here. All right, we're going to wait five to ten minutes and get some sandwiches. So we're checking out the post office. It's pretty deep over here. Even the Jeep's having a little trouble getting through, but... That's no joke over here, man. Yeah, she's getting right through. are going to make a quick stop at HCL. This is our local hardware store. Basically our partners up here in Mammoth that 
get us all the uh, construction supplies and a lot of snow supplies too that we need to keep this town moving. They're trying to dig out their parking lot right now, so everybody's getting their snow removal stuff. But that's HCL. These are uh, really good guys to work with up here. Looks like they're getting her, getting her cleaned up. We might have to help them out later. So this is like my uh, candy store here. I could probably spend all day in here if I if I really wanted to. Ah, cozy. Uh, kind of see the sun a minute ago let's see there it is that's something else it kind of disappeared but it looks really cool it's it's trying to get through the clouds so anyhow we're on our way over to davidson actually last week you see that up there uh, right there we had a lot of wind and uh, had to get the guys over there to board that up and broke some windows actually so but now we're gonna run up the hill we're gonna get up there it's up by Eagle and go to Davidson and uh, check out these roof guys and see what they're up to big motivation to be out here in this I, mean, I guess we're one of them Look at that sun, I mean, you can't really see the power lines, but that is so cool how it's kind of shining through. Alright guys, we're going to head up on this roof, take a look, it's a flat roof, so we got to get the snow off because it doesn't shed, but I'll tell you what, my guys are, they're tough, anybody out here right now working in this is one tough cookie, so it's deep. I mean, they've kind of like built their own little staircase up to the top here. That's that's like the eave of the roof down there. Uh, as you can see, she deep. So this is one of one of many complexes that we do. Like I said, it takes a special kind of person to be out here doing this stuff. These guys are basically the heart and soul of what we do. This is the muscle behind the machine right here. Yeah, the sun's popping through. I'm winded just getting up here. <clears throat> kind of got a little, make a little staircase to get up here. I just all like up to my waist. <clears throat> uh, let's see if we can get up here. Alright. Cool. Made it. Woo! <laughs> well, this is the boys. Right here getting it done. I mean look at that. That's taller than that's taller than he is. Just imagine every there's so many roofs here in this town that have to be maintained like this if you leave it like that 
That's a big hazard. See all that ice? That's gonna fall on somebody. Actually, nobody can even get back there, but <laughs> either way, it's structurally super, super heavy on the building. Everything up here is built for snow load. When we build it, we put, I mean, there's lots of steel, lots of hardware, all that kind of stuff. understand why you're building things the way you're building them because when I first started in construction up here I didn't know well I, I knew but I couldn't understand why the engineers would overbuild these uh homes I thought they were overbuilt but now when you see a snow load like this right here where that guy's almost six foot tall over there and it's over his head that guy's definitely 510 and the snow is over his head it's a lot of weight it's a lot of weight so there's that sun still trying to pop through and it's literally like blizzard conditions with the sun trying to pop through very unique conditions we're dealing with right now hope you guys enjoy this one i know somebody uh commented they want to see some roof work so here it is, I got a lot more coming too. Just... Well, you saw what they were doing up there on that roof and the conditions that we're dealing with right now. You know, it's not the kind of snowfall that we've already seen, it's not very much, but the wind is uh, really making today a challenge to deal with. I mean, it's just real challenging get anything done anybody out here I commend you for being out here doing this because just being out in this weather it's pretty harsh that wind is nothing nothing nice oh boy we got we got the chain guys we're gonna put chains on in the middle of the road block the traffic I love it almost lunch time really cool the sun's kind of popping out it's pretty neat the wind's not too bad over here in my neighborhood but I got a little break I got all the guys running equipment clearing roofs doing everything they can be doing we're not even close to being caught up but I'll tell you one thing if I don't get in here and do some of this paperwork we're not gonna have any money I haven't even had time to do any invoicing so now I'm gonna get on here and I'm gonna do a whole bunch of invoicing right now it's kind of the boring part of the job but it's very important so I'm gonna get that done and I'm gonna get this video out for you guys so you can kind of see what we were up to this morning. It's really uh, beautiful outside right now. That wind is finally starting to let up a little. So that's a good thing. But again, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. It's been uh, a dream come true for this channel for me to be able to do this channel and and share all this with all of you please like this content share it with whoever you can follow us on instagram it's uh, plow brothers at instagram um, follow us on there if you can and i'm gonna get to work on this billing and then i'll be back out there getting some more content for you guys